Hi everyone, Holly here. I finally finished my junk journal and I made it so chunky I can barely get it closed. So I'm just going to give you kind of a little look-see. But this is my journal. Um, I did the 3D teacup on it and I added some chunky charms and a tassel to it. Give it kind of a look. I hope you can see that. Okay, and we're going to open it. I put three signatures in here. And as I said, I was going to use that real pretty ribbon, lavender ribbon. I did. I used that for the tie closure. And I have three signatures in here, and I made it too, too chunky. I think I went overboard. I may have to take one of the signatures out because it's barely able to close. But I showed you this one. See if I can tilt this. Oops. Sorry. See if I can tilt this down a little more. There. Is that better? Okay. You saw this one. And I added a pocket here in the front. And the lady with the frame. I added the rose petals. This book smells like roses. I love it. And the tissue. And I went back and added a couple of more pockets. This one is a pocket of lace. And I filled in some of the blank pages. As you can see. That's the envelope again. I left a couple of pages intentionally blank to be journaled in. And then I added a, a little doily over here. I did leave a couple of pages blank in here. That's the first signature. I gotta reattach this because the for some reason the glue's not holding. Okay, this is the second signature I did. I added a pocket here in the front and I added a letter that's back in front letter that I printed off the internet. Well, I'll put that back later. I added another big pocket here where I've got a couple of bookmarkers. I added a lace pocket here and a couple of tags. Oh, these are bookmarkers and a tag. And then a little envelope up here with a couple of tags in it. And some flowers and stuff that I had. And this is another pocket with a letter that I found that I tea stained. I'll put that back later. And I just added some uh, Paris theme pictures and words that I had. And I added another pocket here and put a, a tag in here and put Paris across here. It's a clear plastic. I actually like it. Um, it's a cutout I found. And then I added a lady's picture. And this actually is a fold out fan. I liked it. And then I made a little trifold card here that can be written on and a little curvy pocket. I'll put that back later too. And then I added uh, just some lace and fabric here that I really like. It's, it's nice silver. And, of course, my huge butterfly. And this is a tablet of a lady shoe. I actually found this tablet. And I thought it was cute, so I added it to there. And I added some ribbon. I left another page blank. This is a double pocket. I put a little notepad in there. And a Western Union letter in there that I tea stained. 
and I left this page blank. And this is a little note card that can be written on and a flower. I wanted to leave space for writing. This is another little pocket I made and I put a postcard in there. Another lace pocket with a tag. Okay, and the third and final signature I did was I put a huge pocket here and put some book markers that I made in there. Another postcard and some tags in a lace pocket. And then I cut out this lace rose and put behind it for decoration. And then I added some mother of pearl shells because I really like them. And there's another flower. Um, I did a rosette with fabric and then glued the flower in the middle. And this is a, another little pocket. And I made a little notebook that can be written in. Um, decorated it front and back. That can be written in. And there's a little pocket here. And it's got some little... Uh, it's a little tablet that you can write on. And there's a couple of tags in there. And this is another notepad I found. It's a lady's dress. I put this in there so it can be written on with some tags in another big po library pocket. And I added uh, another pocket here with a little envelope pocket and added a lace rose. And this is the little window with the lady in it that I showed you earlier. This is another little pocket I added that I tied up. Uh, I did a double pocket here with a couple of store receipts, old-timey store receipts that I printed out, and uh, another tag to be written on. A couple of pages that people can write on, and a little note card that can be written on, an ATC. Um, I did a nice foil background on this. It's blue with foil. You probably can't see it well. And uh, a little stamp that says Paris Post. And then I did a pocket here and put a bunch of tags in here. That's a whole pocket. And another little pocket here. This is another pocket I did in the back, and I put another postcard, and this is another letter that I put in there. But that's my three signatures in my journal. And yes, I'm going to have to find a better glue to hold this, but I just wanted to show you. Oh, I did take the lady's advice, and I did add a third row of charms and make it a little longer on here. I love the chunky charm look and the tassel. I think it kind of adds to it. And I put a little leaf on there. Leaf charm. And I tried to use the same colors as I used in the book. The themes. So I tried to use the same. But that's it for now. I just wanted to show you my journal. I hope you could see it okay. Um, wish you all the best. Peace.